the How first you... one was uh, very difficult uh, in, in more than one way. Uh, one way it was difficult for me was I had never witnessed an execution when I oversaw the first one that I did. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I mean, because all you got to go on, all I had to go on, was people telling me, well, this is what happens and then this happens. And you're trying to play a movie in your head of what this looks like, and it's just not an ideal situation. I mean, if you were doing something that didn't amount to much or wasn't very important, that's a different story. But, you know, you don't want to goof this up. And uh, I, so I had, in the first one, I had a lot of anxiety uh, and worried about me a lot. And as it went on, I quit. I didn't worry about me. I mean, uh, it was everything else and everybody else there to worry about. But, but it, that kind of, I got caught up in that on the first one. And then the other thing that sticks out in my head about your question is just the matter of dealing with an execution, of having somebody who uh, is quite as healthy as you are, mm -hmm. strapped down there in that gurney, and the thought hits me that you know, in a few minutes, you're going to give a signal to an executioner who's going to end this guy's life. I mean, I was going to do that. And the guy was perfectly healthy. I mean, that's just almost unrealistic. It's just, it's definitely very unusual and different than what we know in our day-to-day -day lives. And so all that was, I was caught up in thinking about all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the first one for me was... Uh, difficult like that and then uh, unfortunately the first one did not go smoothly. Probably one of the worst ones I dealt with the whole time I was there as far as uh, me mechanically, medically, that we had uh, the medical person had trouble finding a vein mm -hmm. and uh, that I know you hear that a lot out there uh, but that doesn't happen that often mm -hmm. uh, but that one was it wasn't the worst one I dealt with in that manner, but it was pretty bad. And then where we normally would go with a live, you, you put one in each arm, one's live, the other one's back up. And it took such a struggle to find the first one that uh, myself and the medical person made a decision to go with just that one. And then when the executioner started to push the fluids through, it popped out of his arm. And we had to start all over again. So. It was not a good night, you know. But I did leave there that night thinking, it, it, surely it can't get any worse than this. You know, it's got to get better.